Welcome back. This week we celebrate my birthday, we get our new tender and we inspect our sails. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. It's birthday breakfast, but oh, it is getting on. It is a bit later because we're a little bit jet lagged. We uh, didn't get in until late last night. It's been a big five days for us traveling, boat showing and all the rest of it. And Bella just wanted to have her birthday breakfast and share it with her dadda. I'm sure See, there's, look, there's one two coming. Forks, two forks and all. How do you feel, Belle? Do you feel like a big kid now? I was late to be born, right? Mm -hmm. That means if I was born when I was meant to be, I'd already be 16. We love birthdays. It's when all the good food comes out. Happy birthday to Bella. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope Sixteen years old and what an incredible person you are already. It is a pleasure to be your mum and to see the way you shine your light on the world. Happy birthday, beautiful girl. So it's Bella's birthday boxing day. We like to celebrate about three days of birthday. Yesterday she wasn't feeling the best, we were all a little bit tired, so we didn't do much more today, but uh, we just went to the shop and at least got some food. Bella is just doing up a, what do you call it, Bella? I don't know what she said. I didn't make that up. It's a cheese board, is what I thought. But there's a name and it's a Shakira. Shakutarie board. I'm just kidding. Shakutarie. I still don't know what she's talking about, but... And I'm gonna make some lasagna tonight. So what I've done is I just boiled some pumpkin and I'm gonna mush that up a bit, put some spinach with it, just some frozen spinach, because that's what I've got. Melt some butter, cook out some flour in there. I do about the same amount of flour and butter and usually it's about one or two tablespoons and then I just pour in milk. I usually use coconut milk, but we're using real milk because we can, because we're in America and everything is just here and ready and we can buy whatever we want. So, so then you just cook it until it starts to thicken up and then I add some cheese. Sometimes I put parmesan cheese in there, depends on your feeling. Put a little bit of cheese in there. All right, so I just put the frozen spinach in with that and steamed it for like not very long. And I'm just going to mash it all up together. And instead, I'm not making uh, my tomato. I usually put like bolognese sauce in with the lasagna, but we're not going to tonight. We're putting salmon in there, so I'm just going to run the cream and cheese sauce and pumpkin and spinach. Beautiful. Okay, so then I'm just going to lay it like you do when you make lasagna. I'm going to put this as a bottom 
pumpkin layer and then I will sprinkle half the basil um, some cheese in there then I am just going to pour bechamel on top of this layer there Creamy cream. Hot smoked salmon, not the normal smoked salmon. It's got like cracked peppercorn and mustard seeds and some lemon. And then I'm just going to sprinkle that on top of the bechamel sauce. Put another layer of pasta. Do it again! Basil, sprinkle that on in there. It's our last layer of pasta. And the rest of your sauce. Additional sauce. Ooh. Did you taste it? <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, you scared me. I thought I was doing something wrong. <laughs> Tastes good, luckily, because it would have been a little bit late if it didn't. So we're going to spread it all out, all over the... Grate the cheese. But I'm going to pop it in the oven, and I usually cook it for probably about half an hour. 40 minutes, depending on your oven, but we're going to eat some cheese and crackers until it's ready. There it is. Salmon, pumpkin and spinach lasagna. Whoa, oh my gosh, I nearly dropped it. Look at that. Oh, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Get in my tummy. It's like a flame. All right, so Bella had a cake last night, but we didn't have any candles and we couldn't go buy any, so she's having her candles in her lasagna tonight. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bella. Happy birthday to you. Hooray! 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 Is that the first time you've ever had a lasagna cake? Oh, Mum, I think that's wax. Because the lasagna was hot. Mama. That is Sorry. like... This morning Lee's got the uh, the mizzen up and we would only bought it up a little bit so far and it looks like must the top just has been hanging out for so long so the top of the sail's no good but it's... We just pulled it up and it looks brand new. <laughs> so... Yeah, this one's looking sad now. Yeah, just the edges. So it's got potential. We could potentially just get it or fix it ourselves but... Side edge. It's because it's been the weather. Yeah, but that shouldn't have. This looks like. The middle of the sail looks brand new. But the very top and the outside of it is like. Yeah. got to still we found a solar company that we can buy our solar from so we've got to order that when we're ready which we're still figuring out we're going back and forth between like putting an arch on the back we'd love to put a hard top on 
on here but financially at the moment we're just don't know if that's possible so uh yeah we're getting there we've got we've got to do our batteries solar get our power so mum and dad have tested the back mini sale i don't know like the mini main or whatever but right now we're going to go see if the big main the main sale um works and looks good Overall, the mainsail looked in pretty good condition as well. Yes, my hair is half braided. Mum is just uh, doing something, but it will be done any second. So uh, today we're getting back into some boat work and first things first, you gotta get your hair braided. And then I'm not sure what we're gonna do today. There's a lot of jobs where um, our tender, our high field tender, we have, um, it has arrived and we've just got to go pick it up. I don't know, like today or tomorrow sometime. So that is like so exciting. And yeah, I'm just watching our latest video why mum braids our hair, my, my hair. My hair is all done and we just got the message that our tender is ready to be picked up. So what we're doing today is we're going to get our new tender, which is so exciting. So let's go get our brand new high field tender that's a little bit bigger than our old one which we loved and so this one is just gonna be so great and I can't wait till we get to go exploring in it. We're just super psyched. We're so happy to have another high field. We loved our old tender and let's go and get it. All right, it's high field time. I'm just gonna go and get Paul and Paul's gonna take us down and he has a tray back or like a ute we'd call it in Australia. And now we're gonna plonk it in the back and see how we go. Try and bring it back. She's a bloody ripper. Look at that. It's on. It's in. We're going to follow him back and make sure he doesn't fall out. <laughs> That was super sweet. Those people just helped us. Uh, well, what oh, why don't we put it here and see what it looks like? So 
a good news. We wanted to see if the boat would fit, our tender or our dinghy would fit on the front of our boat. And so far, so good. So we were moving the, we moved these st like stainless steel poles <laughs> so that we didn't pop the tender. <laughs> but we got my toe. <laughs> but we didn't pop the tender, so it's okay, I'll take one for well, the team. Well, <laughs> at least you'll heal. I will. So my room absolutely stinks of like cigarettes because I think the previous owner used to smoke in my room. So like the mattress and stuff, we're working on getting new mattresses and stuff, but um. If anyone has any like idea of how to get like the smell out, that would be like great comment down below because I like have to lift my bed up to get everything, not everything, just like sometimes we need stuff to get out. Right now my hatch is shut because the tender's on the deck, but my room just stinks of this cigarette smell. So, I mean, I read somewhere that putting like baking soda and vinegar, so I've done that and just like sit it but like I hate the smell and it gives me like a headache and yeah the mattress and I probably when we get a new mattress I'll get new sheets because like it's really old but it's just like holding this cigarette smell so if anyone has any ideas of how to get it out much appreciated you can comment down below